Who are you calling frittata, you frittata? It's Some Guy Who Could, starring Brett Picorni. Featuring Brett Picorni, guest stars on the show include Sal, Pappy, and the lovely Paula. Today's episode is brought to you by Brett Picorni. What's up, guys? Some Guy Who Cooks here, and of course, today I'm making breakfast. Now, I could show you a fancy pants omelet that would be delicious, but I think I gotta go big or stay home. So what am I making? I'm making frittatas. Frittatas take a lot of these little dudes. Eggs. I got some already cracked. I'm gonna keep crapping. <laughs> There's some already in there. I'm gonna keep cracking these. Because, of course, this episode needs some egg ploops. Bloop. Paula, you got some egg on your face. Bloop. Now, if you're wondering why I'm just sort of smacking these on the side and not on an edge or with a knife or something like that, it's because it holds up the integrity of the yolk. That's not exactly necessary with this recipe, but it's good practice if you need to separate yolks and whites. So, burn. And bloop. I like to get every drop out of that egg. So what is a frittata? I like to think of it like an egg cake. You got all these eggs and then you got a bunch of other stuff you throw in them. Now, instead of an omelet where all the ingredients are kind of in the center and folded inside, you got everything just mixed in. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna beat up our eggs, mix them with some sour cream, and then cook all of our veggies and stuff and throw those in there. That is some eggshells. Now what, pray tell, am I putting in my frittata today? Really, you can put in just about anything you want, but me, I'm going specific. When it comes to the cream base for blending your eggs, you can use sour cream, you can use whole milk, you can use heavy cream. You can even use yogurt if you wanted. I'm gonna use sour cream because, well, I have some left over and it's gonna be real creamy. Bloop, and one more bloop. Go ahead and whisk these. Now I realize I told you I was gonna tell you what I had in my frittata and then I proceeded not to do so just there. First up, I've got chayote squash. It's a type of squash, kinda like yellow squash. Then I got some green onions, some diced potatoes that I already diced, some sliced carrot, and you can go ahead and buy the already sliced stuff if you like. Nothing wrong with a can of corn. Mmm, some ground beef here. Between you and me, this is the beef from the future patty melt episode. Lots of flavor, mm. lots of flavor. And I feel like there's one more thing. How could I forget the cheese? Got a big old bag of cheese here. Five pound bag of shredded cheddar, guys, and I just opened it, so I must take the inaugural pinch here, of course. Mm. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna chop all these up nice and fine. We're gonna throw the tougher stuff like the squash and the carrots in the pan first, get them nice and tender, keep it cooking. Oh, by the way, almost forgot spinach too. Keep it cooking and once everything's seasoned and good to go, that's when we toss in our eggs. So, shall we? First things first, I'm gonna show you this chayote squash. Believe it or not, I got this bad boy at Walmart. I'm sure you can find it there too. Sometimes you can also find it at other places like Publix if you live in the South like I do. So I'm gonna give it a good cut right down the middle here. And as you can see, there's a little seed in there. Well, not, not a little seed, but there's a seed in there. It's, it's not huge, but it's also not tiny. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop the tip of the knife in there and push up and pull out that seed. It pops right out, not too difficult. Can you eat this? Yes, but you know, I, I like to pop it out just because. See, it comes out real easy. It almost actually just feels like a piece of the squash. Let's go ahead and cut this guy up. We're not super fine dicing it. We're gonna cut it just into pieces like this. Because personally, I like larger pieces of veggies in my frittatas. When you cook them, they'll still get tender. They'll still take on all those flavors from the seasonings, but you get a nice big bite in there with the egg. I forgot to mention the, uh, the onion we're putting in here too, the regular onion. So that's also going in there. Ooh, doggy. Oh, I got them onion eyes. But anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, got my skillet here with a little bit of olive oil. Throwing up that heat, tossing in our stuff. Eh. Now this is a lot, but it should cook down. Whatever doesn't cook down, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on the side and it'll be some delicious mixed veggies for later. Just make sure you season it well and taste as you go. While that's going, I'm gonna start throwing the cheese 
inside the egg mixture here, as well as maybe a little extra seasoning, some garlic powder, some onion powder. This is a 12 egg frittata. So you're gonna to wanna to use at least one cup of shredded cheese. I'm gonna put a lot of it into the uh, egg mixture right now. And then I'm gonna put some on top later as well. For now, let's let this cook. Catch you guys in a bit. And here we are, guys, the moment of truth here. I've taken some of the veggies out just because there were so many of them. Now it's time to throw in our beef and then our eggs. Bloop, and one more big bloop. Just mash it on in there and start mixing around. We want this mixture to be good and, well, mixtured. Big bloop. And as this is heating, I got the oven set to 425, and I'm gonna mix my egg mixture up one more time just so it's good and, uh, well, mixed before I add it in here. And here we go. Go ahead and give it a bit of a stir, that way everything gets incorporated with that egg. Now one thing I will say, this burner that I'm using isn't quite big enough, so we might not get quite the amount of cooking we run around the edges from the get-go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it into the oven, seeing as it's nice and hot and bubbling right now, and that should cook the whole thing pretty evenly. Come with me, frittata. And now we wait. Wait, no, first I'm gonna open that back up and throw some cheese on top. Now that's gonna sit for between seven and 15 minutes. So we'll check back on that in a bit. All right, guys, let's do this. Go, oh, I can't see, can't see, can't see. Oh, that's better. Now look at that frittata. There's some juices and oils peeking out from that beef I added. But otherwise, that is just beautiful. I almost don't even want to touch it because it really it is, it is gorgeous. But I got it if I want to taste it. So I got my spatula here. Oh, hello reflection. Mm, sorry, I got a little caught up. Anyway, I'm gonna give it a little cut and then a little scoop to get that slice out. We're gonna taste this frittata. Here we go. Oh yeah, that is fluffy. Just look how easy it cut right in there. Now, there are gonna be some juices flowing out of this thing because, quite frankly, I should have cooked those veggies down a little bit more to make sure they weren't as juicy as they are. But, luckily, it's still holding its form and, oh, I can't wait to try this. So, got myself a plate, got myself a fork, got myself the spatula thing to keep spatuling. Let's just get right around the edge here. Right on in there. And you give it a good old scoop. Woo. Oh man, that looks so good. Take a look right there, guys. Now, granted, you can see it's a bit of a mess, and that's because, well, quite frankly, I put in a lot of veggies, but that's the way I like it. A lot of veggies, a lot of beef, a lot of cheese. It may not be holding up like a perfect piece of quiche or frittata or whatever, but it's still keeping form, and oh, I'm, I'm excited. So I guess there's nothing else I can do right now except give it a taste. There we go, nice piece here with some of that spinach, some of that beef, and a carrot. All right, I'm excited, and a nice big piece of egg there, and of course that cheese. Look at that steam coming off, isn't that great? Here goes nothing. Mmm. <laughs> hot. Really hot, but... Woo! Mmm. That is so good. And you know, a lot of places will serve up a frittata with hot sauce and or ketchup, maybe salsa. Really doesn't need it, guys. But look at that. Look how amazing that looks. It's all creamy and gooey. And look at the cheese. But here we go. This is a piece of that chayote squash. Um, it's obviously got other bits of frittata on it, but I'll give that a, a taste on its own for you. Mm, wow. It's really hard to describe what it's like. It's something that you're gonna have to try on your own. It has those squashy notes. It's good and tender, but something about it is just a little different. Anyways, if you don't think this frittata looks perfect, that's, well, that's perfectly fine, because, you know, I'm not some professional chef. I'm just some guy who cooks. But for the record, 
I'm giving it another mouth hug because this is some good food, dude. See you next time.